Bibles with me to Isaiah chapter 26, and I want to read most of that chapter. And I won't, because you'll probably never read it, and I want you to hear it. Isaiah, the 26th chapter. Everybody said, In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will God. A point for walls and bulwarks. He said, Open you the gates that the righteous nation, which keepeth truth, may enter in. Thou wilt keep him perfect, peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusted in thee. Trust you in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. For he bringeth down them that dwell on high. The lofty city he layeth it low. He layeth it low even to the ground. He bringeth it even to the dust. The foot shall tread it down, even the feet of the poor and the steps of the needy. The way of the just is uprightness. Thou most upright does weigh the path of the just. Yea, in the way of judgments, O Lord, have we waited for thee. The desire of our soul is to thy name and to remembrance of thee. With my soul I have desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when my judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteous. Let favor be showed to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly, and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. Lord, when thy hand is lifted up, they will not see, but they shall see and be ashamed. For they, their envy is of the, at the people. Yea, the first of thine enemies shall devour them. Lord, thou wilt ordain peace for us. For thou also hast wrought all of our works in us. O Lord our God, other lords beside thee have had dominion over us. But, we, but by thee only we, we make next mention of thy name. They are dead, they shall not live. They are deceased, they shall not rise. Therefore hast thou visited and destroyed them, and made all the memory to perish. Thou hast increased the nation, O Lord. Thou hast increased the nation. Thou art glorified. Thou hast removed it far unto the ends of the earth. Lord, in trouble have they visited thee. They poured out prayers when thy chastened upon them. Like as a woman with child that draweth near the time of her delivery is in pain, and crieth out in her pangs. So have we been in the sight of the Lord. We have been with child. We have been in pain. We have, as it were, brought forth wind. We were not wrought in any deliverance in the earth. Neither have the inhabitants of the world fallen. Thy dead men shall live. Together with my dead body shall they rise. Wake and sing, you that dwell in the dust. For thy dew is the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. Come, my people, enter thou in into thy chambers, and shut the doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. For behold the Lord. Everybody said, Behold the Lord. Come up out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and no more cover her slain. And I want to use verse 20 and verse 1 for my to title my text. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. And in the first verse, in that day shall this song be sung in our land of Judah. We have a strong city, salvation. Will God appoint to appoint for walls and bulwarks? And I want to tie to my text today, praise the Lord, the time for the church song. And that's something you can't learn now, the song book. You can say be seated, praise the Lord. A song that can't be learned out of the song book. I read... Is Israel's kingdom song. It says, When Jesus turned from the Gentiles, and back, Brother Frank was talking about his last night. When Jesus turns from the Gentiles 
Back to the Jews. The word starts out in that chapter, in that day. There's coming that day. That day's a coming. You know, we think about this, you know, it seems like things are a long time off. I was just thinking about Tammy's wedding and getting this in our uh, Tammy's. <laughs> Christians. Kristen, I get her name right in a minute. And you know, I, I was really dreading it. <laughs> I just, I'd I'd you know, anyway. But anyway. And so, but I, it soon got here. Everything soon gets here. I mean, I'm proud she got married and everything went on and everything went good. But I'm just saying, I don't like weddings. I like preaching. <laughs> so, let's <laughs> put it that. Don't like funerals either. Don't even like them, they go to them. But in that day, it says, there'll be a song sung in Judah. There's going to be a song, a song that they know, a song that we don't know. We don't know it. Amen. It said, in that day, Israel will have a new song. We have a strong city, salvation. The church needs to have a song. <laughs> We need salvation, hallelujah, amen, praise the Lord. We need a song that's not out of the songbook, amen, but a song that is salvation, amen, that we're proud and happy and have joy in our salvation, that God has saved us, that God has delivered us, that God has healed us, that hallelujah, that he has made a way for us when there was no way. He paid a price that we could not pay, hallelujah, amen. We should have a song in our hearts. Not we read out a song, but a joy inside of us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Something. We're going to have to have it. Praise the Lord. We need a song in our heart that we could be happy in the bad times and the good times and the terrific times. We should be. The song is not being sung. It says a point. That song will be salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. He said, open you the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth truth may enter in. This song is not being sung now in Israel because they're not a righteous nation. It's not being sung right now. But God's going to put a song in their heart. God will put a song in their heart. Amen. One day they will sing that song instead of Judah. They'll sing the song of salvation. When God turns from us, Gentiles, when the number's full, there ain't no way you're going to get in. Don't try to fight. Amen. Praise the Lord. There's no other door. Jesus said, I am the door. And when Jesus closes the door, he said he can shut the door and you can't open it. He can open the door and you can't shut it. And so it don't make any difference. Hallelujah. Amen. You better have a song. You better have the church song when the time comes. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. There's coming a time. Hallelujah. There's coming a time all the preaching is going to cease. All the time for repentance is going to cease. Time for baptism will be over. No time to go to the river. No time to get to God. You don't learn that story for the ten virgins. Five foolish and five wise. Give us your oil. I can't give you nothing. I can give you something today. I can give you something today that gets you somewhere. I can give you some directions how to get there. But on that day, at that day, if you don't have that song in your heart, if you ain't got it today, if you don't have that in your heart, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. David, praise you, the Lord. You got to have something inside of you that you want to praise the Lord, that you want to. Oh, God, that it don't take a song to make you shout. It don't make a song. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Amen. That you can just stand and praise God for what you feel inside of you. There's something inside of me that's got to come out. Hallelujah, Jesus. If it takes a song out of a book to move you, you ain't going to make it. you got to find a song. Because one day, 
them songs are going to cease. Be nothing. Amen. Pearl Harbor was a sad and horrific day. 9-11 was a sad and horrific day. But that day, the Scripture's talking about, it's going to be a day such as never been before. The Bible said it hadn't been or never be after. What kind of day it's going to be. And you can't imagine. I can imagine standing when they tell me about 9-11. I went here at Pearl Harbor. But I know grief stuck the nation. But when you see something that just ain't affecting Washington or New York, when you see something that's affecting Bland County, Parisburg, Nairs, United States, Israel, all the nations, hallelujah. When you, well, there's nowhere to run. There's nowhere. To, you better have a hiding place. You better have a place of refuge. We, we better have a song in our heart that'll keep us. And He is our salvation. He will protect us. Judah's going to have its own. A song in our heart. You know, if you don't have that song, when a storm comes, you're going to get the brunt of it. If you don't have it in you, you can't get it no more then. Everything written in the scriptures is for example and also admonishing for us. This message brought me more aware of comfort and thinking about when Paul and Silas was in prison, sitting in stocks, heads through holes, feet through holes, sitting there, amen, serving God and wondering. Amen, praise the Lord. They could have wondered why in the world or be complaining like most people do today and they ain't even got their handcuffs on or nothing else. We got people sitting around in their own houses, stuff to eat, food, raiment, clothes, and they still grumble and complain. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. The old Paul looked over at Silas and said, It's time to sing. We got a song in our heart that can cause an earthquake. We got a song that can break these walls. Down. We got a song that can open jail doors. We don't need no choir. We don't need no guitar. We don't need no organ silence. We got a song that will tear this day apart. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We got something in us that nobody can take away. The old song says the world didn't give it to me and the world can't take it away. David, before his departure, said, Praise you the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Isaiah sang unto the Lord a new song. And his praise from the end of the earth. But Revelation 5 and 9 said, and they sung a song, a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book. Amen. Revelation 14, 3. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song except the 144,000. The one... God. The one that God's put that song. Those Jews that God has already ordained and got a song in their heart. And nobody, nobody else, nobody can't learn that song. Don't wait till you can't learn this song. Don't wait. Hallelujah. Praise God. Don't wait till you can't. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Don't think you're going to wait till the last minute and study for the test. Ain't gonna pass. Nobody can learn that song. Only the heart of forty-four thousand. We 
And Jesus said it's through for the Jews of the Gentiles. You ain't going to learn this song. They got my heart. You ain't going to learn that song that Paul had when he said Silas is saying. Too late. God give me say, things are going to happen pretty soon. No man. Why couldn't no man learn it? said they sung it before the throne and no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which was redeemed from the earth they're blessed there's 144,000 out there oh, God's already got a song in their heart God's already ordained and predestinated, hallelujah, amen, for them to come. But for us, we've got to learn that song. And if we don't learn it, hallelujah, God's going to say, get out into the highways and hedges and tell these people to come in and learn my song, hallelujah. I'm tired of fooling. I've called people. I've called my own, hallelujah. I've called people. I've called and I've called. And they won't sing the song. They won't live, hallelujah. They won't learn the song. I got something with inside me. I can just get out and praise the Lord anywhere. I remember getting out on the road and getting out on my hands and knees and say, Thank you, God. Hallelujah. For your mercy and your grace. I don't need no choir to shout or sing for God. I've done it out in the dark in the parking lot at motels and things. Because I got a song in here. Nobody knows. These saved from Israel during tribulations. That's what's going to be saved. The Bible especially says they sang. They said they sang, if you got the word, as it were. Not only it was a new song, but as if it were. A new song. It's already in them. They had already had it in them. Amen. Praise the Lord. You better have a praise in you. Amen. Hallelujah. You better have this song. Hallelujah. And we sing it as if it were a new song. Hallelujah. When troubles come and trials come. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. As if it were a new song. But it wasn't no new song to them because God had instilled it into their hearts. It's coming, sir. And I'll tell you where some people are going to be hung at. You remember when the Bible said Israel was carried into captivity down by the river Shebar? It said, we hanged our harps upon the willow trees. They required of us a song. And we said, how can we sing a new song? In a strange land. <laughs> Heaven's going to be strange to a lot of people. <laughs> they ain't going there. Hallelujah. The world is going to another place. Hallelujah. They ain't going to be strangers there. Because they're living it right now. There are people. Hallelujah. Living. Amen. Just like it's never going to stop. How can we sing a new song? You ain't got the Spirit of God. That's going to be a land you heard of. A strange land. Ain't going to have nothing to do with it. You got no part in it. But those, when the saints go marching in, I want to be in that number. When the saints go marching in, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. We want to know a song that God gives us. That we can sing if we're in jail. Or we're even close to hell, hallelujah. That we can still get up and sing a song, hallelujah. And break the bonds. Hallelujah. 
I like this. Ezekiel was a prophet in that day. He said, I sat where they sat. And there I remained astonished for seven days. Meaning, I can't see no way out for them. He's talking about Israel. I'm talking about Israel. Now, they still ain't out. They still don't have that song. They're not singing that song today. Them 144,000 don't even know it's in their heart. But God's going to wake them up. They're going to know who Jesus is. They're going to come through the light. He is our God. He is our Savior. He will heal us. Hallelujah. He's the one. Hallelujah. That will take care of us. Hallelujah. Amen. He. We got a new song to sing. It's salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. But they sung it as if it were a new song. Because it's already put inside the church is going to have a new song. Better be learning it now, but it's not in a song book. I know she was moving a lot of her stuff out. I mean, you know, all the old house stuff there. And she said, I just got so many books. You don't leave but one book. <laughs> Everything else is somebody else's writing. Everything else is somebody's theory. That's somebody's theory. You don't know where you're hearing the truth or not. But read this. And it's the truth. Hallelujah. We open up the gates and let the nation of truth come in. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 Open up the gates. Better be learned. It ain't in a song book. You ain't gonna find this in any book either. That's God's word. It's not somebody put a spin on it. As I preached last week, you don't have one part to it. You don't take nothing away from it. Line upon line, precept upon precept. And I'm not throwing shell. I was just using that for an instant. You know what I'm talking about. Same words are going to be. And no man was able to learn that song but the 144,000. Let's just analyze this for a minute. Where Israel would come before this song. They said, other lords, other lords beside thee have had dominion over us. I mean, we had somebody else controlling us. We had a master, something else. It wasn't you, Jesus. That's what Israel said. Some of us like to fish. Some of us like to home. come church time. Some of us had like this, and some of us like that. Let's go preach the way I got it, Hallelujah. We like this instead of going to church. We like this instead of praising God. We like that. That's your master. That's your controller, Hallelujah. That's the one where your heart, where. Your... I know the scripture. Where your heart is, there's where your treasure's at. If your heart ain't in church, you better be learning to sing the song, and it's not in one of these song books. I can't teach it to you. You've got to learn it yourself. Hallelujah. That part you got to learn. Nobody give me nothing that I could shout without a song. Jesus, give it to me. No preacher, give me something that I could face trouble and not fear. Jesus gave it to me. No preacher, give me faith. Hallelujah. Amen. And knowing when I'm sick, hallelujah, that God will soon heal me. Hallelujah. Preacher didn't give that to me. Hallelujah. Randy, God give that to us. It's God that gives us that song. We might say something to encourage you, but we can't give it to you. you got to get that yourself. Amen. Amen, brother. Uh, he's clapping too. we got them all clapping. Amen. 
We had other things ruling over us. Church wasn't even in your mind. Mine neither. <laughs> but you said, right, you found out. You found out. You found out. You got to find out. I see people messing around. I, they ain't found out yet. They don't know about this song that you can sing when you're in trouble. They don't know about this song when trouble's going, or all hell's breaking loose, that they can smile and please know that God is able to take care of us. I feel like the Holy Ghost. They don't know the language to the song. They had the control over us. But the only now, we will make niche in your name, Lord. What's ruler and controller of our master of your, our life? What is ruler and controller of your life? What do you like more than serving God? God they even say, where's your heart at? That's your master and your controller. You think you're going to be wanting God like they did? Before they learned this song, this is what happened to them. We was a woman. You got to, me and you got to ask your wife about this. We was a woman with child that draws near to the time of delivery. We were in pain. And crieth out in pains. I've seen a little bit on TV how a woman had a baby. I don't know whether that's real or not, but I see. But they were squall. I ain't never been in pains like that, Brother Clarence. I don't know why. The only a woman can tell you what that is. How bad that is. But these people were in that kind because we cried out. We cried out with birth pains, hallelujah. As a woman that was going to have a child, that's how we feel. We wanted God. We got to the place. We wanted you, God. We, we wanted you, hallelujah. We cried. We cried. We cried out. With, you can't even get a tear out of nobody anymore, hallelujah. My God, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I asked God, I said, God, give me a word. Give me a word that I can reach down in a man's heart and pull it out, hallelujah, and let the tears roll down his eyes. Bring repentance to him. Let somebody else lay hands on the sick and heal them. But give me a word that I can tie their heart upside down and let them be ashamed. Hallelujah. We were in pain as one cried out in her pains. So have we been in, this, in thy sight, O Lord. Better ask you why is that I feel like because if you keep messing around, that's where you're going to get it. You'll find your place there. We have been with child, he said. We have been in pain. And then... It's just like as we brought forth wind. We felt like the pain had gone away. And we delivered. What do you mean? Was we didn't accomplish a thing. We cried unto you, O oh God. We pained. And we hurt. And we cried. But even our crying and our pains and all the things going on, it didn't accomplish nothing. You want to get in that shape? Oh, my God. You better go somebody and go watch a woman have a baby. I don't know. I don't think I know how to learn how it is. The pain. God, we was crying. You didn't answer a word. We messed around, Lord. We messed around. We kept messing around. Kept messing around. One day Israel was going to pain. 
it's coming to their land. They're going to they're be crying out for God. They'll be crying out for a Savior. Even though it ain't for want of money, a want of fame, a wanting to be a great nation, or be this. It's a wanting that salvation. Give us that song. Give us, put that song down in us, hallelujah, that we can sing, hallelujah, that we can rejoice, that we can be happy, hallelujah. Put it down in us, Lord. Deliver us. Just we thought we just, when we delivered it, it was just nothing. Just like the wind. We have wrought not any deliverance. We have accomplished nothing. When you hate to come to church here and not accomplish nothing, just keep coming and being crying. Ain't you glad to come feel the Spirit of the Lord? Ain't you glad to come to feel God's glory? Ain't you glad to hear? Hallelujah. I don't want to lose that. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't want to cry out and say, God, please bring your presence down here. Lord, we need your presence. Hallelujah. I thank God for his presence. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I don't want to be down crying and say we went to church for a month and we had to accomplish one thing. That's what Israel's saying here. We've been in pains. I think about I don't know how long you go, but, but we didn't worry about you, God, until things got bad. It's like a woman. You want to play church? Do you get in this shape? What do you think these people's going to be at? To just, I mean, have, have a song and a, a prayer and no worship? Don't have nothing in your heart for God. And you forget God when you go back out the back door there. One day these people's going to be crying for our song. Something when I go out of here, Brother Randy, I still got a feeling. I still got the joy of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I feel like, uh, hallelujah. Amen. Sharon, hallelujah. I go home and trouble comes. I got something, Brother George, that can sustain me in the time of trouble. Hallelujah. That can heal me in the time, hallelujah, of health. Oh, Brother Clark, he's on his way. Hallelujah. He'll never neglect you. He don't forget you. He'll be with you always. Even unto the end of the world. Can't sing a new song in a strange land. We better be like that 144,000. God's mercy had already blessed them. They sung a new song, or as it was with a new song. No man could learn it. Somebody must be, but the 144,000. Now, revelation, buddy, that's something you don't tamper with. You add to that, plagues will be added to you. Take away from it, your part will be taken away. You don't argue with these scriptures I'm talking to you about. Nobody could learn that song but the 144,000. There's another scripture. It says, when Assyria came against Israel. Hezekiah pleaded to God. He said, this day is a day of trouble and of rebuke and blamsy for the children are come to birth and there is no strength to bring forth. Don't get so sorry you can't get set up off your hands and feet, hallelujah, and lift your hands to God and praise Him, hallelujah. Amen. Don't tell me you ain't got strength, hallelujah. I'm 78 years old almost, praise God, hallelujah. And when the Holy Ghost comes in, oh, praise God. I'm like David. I can run through a wall, hallelujah. Oh, praise God. I'm glad that's in me. It's in me. I 
I told Brother John this morning. I said, I get tired. Last night, I, there's one night, if it had been up to old Charles Flesh, I stayed home. I don't know. I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm getting old. I was tired. But something inside of me drove me on. <laughs> I got down here. I got to singing that song. It was a tip. I, I got home. Brother Clarence, I never knew I was even tired. Hallelujah. Hey, I stayed up a little while and watched Barrett Jackson. And I didn't want to lay in the bed. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, there's something in this song. Hallelujah. You get it in there. Hallelujah. Oh, like I said, the world didn't give it to you and the world can't take it away. Hezekiah said, Today is a day of trouble. What are you going to do in the day of trouble? There are things that will face you if God don't help you. You lose your mind. You ain't seen nothing. You think you've seen something or you've had pain? No, you ain't had no pain. Like these guys are talking about. We cried. Well, that's because they're going to have a child, because they knew if he's going to have a child, he'd be over. As I say, this too will pass. That's why I said about Christian wit. This too will pass. <laughs> tell it like it is. I ain't tell you no lie. I said, this too will pass. I do funerals. This too will pass. Because I'm not into that. It's not. I mean, I'm proud. I thank God for Christian Jordan. Praise God. Glad he's Christian in the church, hallelujah. Amen, thank God for it. Marrying the way they're supposed to. Hallelujah. Amen. I like to see people do that. I just don't want a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> I just tell you the way it is, I mean. I've said, Dwayne knows I said I'd last done for this, and I said, I'm quit, I'm done. I couldn't turn Kristen down. So I say I'm done again. So <laughs> but that might change. <laughs> Be lying. But Hezekiah said, it's a day of trouble. Of rebuke and blams them upon the children. And we don't have strength to bring forth. We feel birth pains. But we don't have no strength. Did I give you Ecclesiastes chapter 12 there on the bottom? Just put this up there. Let's... Remember now the Creator in the days of youth, while the evil days come not. Now the years draw now when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. And I feel myself every day losing pleasure in certain things. That's just the way God planned it. I don't care nothing about hunting, fishing. I really don't. I mean, I'm not throwing on nobody does, but that's just me. There, Jerry, you probably feel some of the same things. Take it or leave it. <laughs> I mean, now I ain't getting tired of church. <laughs> Hallelujah. I ain't getting tired of praising the Lord. But then he said, while the sun of the light of the moon and the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. In the days when the keeper of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, because they are few, and those that look out the windows, he be darkened. This is the feeling of old age, church. That's, that's, that's the feeling. And the door shall be shut in the street when the sounds of the grinding is low. You shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. 
And when they shall be afraid of that which is high and fierce shall be in the way. And the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a burden. And the czar shall fail, because men goeth to his long home, and the mourners go about the streets. This is life, church. It's just the way it is. You think it's worth it? Think it's worth it? Or ever the silver cord, your muscles, your nervous system, whenever it be loosed, your golden bowl, forgetting everything. <laughs> Can't think of what you done, not yesterday, ten minutes ago. You can't think about praising God. I don't want to get into that shape. I don't want that to happen. I don't want my bowl to be broken. Or the pitcher, the heart, be broken at the fountain. When the blood don't flow, yarders get clogged up. I got five stents now. That takes away from me. This is telling the truth. Or the wheel. Be broken at the sister. That means your maneuverability. Nothing to get nothing going. Can't get out of your chair. You better praise God while you got two feet. Hallelujah. Let me pray. You ought to get up and just praise God and say, Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. I thank you that I got strength. I thank you, God, that I can praise you. I praise you, God, that I have strength. I have Oh, don't just have the strength, but get a will. Get that song in your heart. Hallelujah. <laughs> Said, then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the Spirit shall return unto God who gave it. And then God, I was telling somebody the other day, we were talking about it. Somebody called me. Oh, I was Brother Davis I was talking to down there. Yeah, I, when he was talking about some things, I think I said this last Sunday. He was talking about, you know, some trouble, people doing this and doing that. I said, Brother Davis, all you can do is preach. God called me to preach. He didn't tell me put nobody's clothes on. He didn't tell nobody to learn somebody's speech, language. He said, preach. And I said, that's all you can do. And he said, let the wheat and the tares grow up together. And when I come, I will separate. Now, you think it ain't going to get tough. He said, many that day will stand before me and said, Lord, we have prophesied in your name. We have cast out devils in thy name. We've done all these marvelous and great works in your name. And he said, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. I think that's some people play in church. Yeah. I'm going to get I'm about ready to hang it up. I could have said enough here. I see. <laughs> Nobody could learn it. Either you can't learn the strong song, or you're too weak. Whichever one it is. You're one of the way, one of the other ways it's going to come to you. That's why God Solomon stated, serve God. In your youth. Put that Ecclesiastes except at 7 through 10. Up. I want to see that just a minute. 11. To the light is sweet and a pleasant thing is for the eyes to behold the sun. But if a man live. Now you read this and read it good. If a man live. Many years. And rejoice in them. All yet, let him remember. You better never let this get away from you. You don't know what eternity is. You think my message is eternal sometimes. And I don't preach 35 minutes. Think church is going on for eternity. No, you wait till you get to eternity. You ever, you ever sit down and, or you've been fasting and you've got another 30 minutes to go? Oh, God, that's eternity. <laughs> Ain't but five minutes past. I still got 25. I still got 24, 23. Oh, let me do this, Holly. I got 22. Hallelujah. 
Hey, I'll just tell you the truth. That's the way the flesh is. Five minutes seem like two hours. That's eternity, huh? When you get in pain, earth pains. But if a man live many years to rejoice in him, oh, yet let him remember the days of dark. For they shall be many, all that cometh is vanity. Rejoice, O oh young man. Now he's telling you, y'all won't have a good time? Same Solomon said, do it. Remember it. But remember one thing. He said, rejoice, O oh young man, in thy youth. Now get out there and get your gusto. He said, and let the heart cheer thee. Do what you want to do. All these things that your master and has control over you, let them cheer thee in the day of thy youth and walk in the ways of your own heart. Do the way you want to do. It's my way or no way. That's why people say this. He said, do what you want to do in the sight of thine eye. But know thou one thing. All these things. All these things will bring thee into judgment. If you ain't got the song, you know, I read that and I read it over and read it over again. Nobody could learn that song. And that song said, We sung a new song in Judah. Salvation. You better get salvation today. Tomorrow might be too late. If only by the mercies of God, I could have been dead, but the Clarence could have been dead. A bunch of us in here could have been. Well, in fact, any of us could have been for God. But I'm just saying I went through natural things. Johnny Lee says, no other living human being could go through that. <laughs> human alive or something. <laughs> he said, that's what I say. I probably said it. Because to me, I don't think no human alive could have went through it. Well, he couldn't. He took Jesus. He took Jesus to bring you through it. And as they sing, if that part of that scripture right up there is in for you, that you're going to do all in your heart, and do what you want to do. This message ain't for you. But those that wants to have a heart. And wants that song in their heart. It's time for the church to get that song. When nothing upsets them. When nothing. They know that God is in control. Why have we got to worry? Who do we fear, David said? I did not fear what man could do me because God is on my side. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't fear what everything else is coming. God will keep us in perfect peace whose mind is stayed upon him. Hey, I want to read this back over just a minute. Give me, give me this this time. It's, I want to read and change a couple words in that first scripture. In that day shall this song be sung New city in the church. We have a strong church. Salvation will God appoint for walls for bulwarks. Open up ye the gates that the righteous, not nation, but the righteous church, which keepeth truth, may enter in. I want to keep truth. We want to keep truth. I don't care how the. Uh, we're going to keep truth. Hallelujah. Amen. It's true. I might not be measuring up. It's still true. Hallelujah. Amen. Pray. We're going to walk in truth. We're going to believe truth. We're going to have truth. And we're not going to sell it. We're not selling out. Hallelujah. Amen. There ain't no thing can make me sell out to this Word of God. Hallelujah. I got that song in my heart.